Hi guys. Hi guys, hello, hello, hello. I'm taking a short break from those kiosk pages because that's all I've been doing still. Um, and I'm gonna work on this. It was an art shade I did with somebody and I haven't finished my end of it yet. Oops. But I mean, yeah. In general, that was something. Where, where am I going? Oh my God, camera, come back here. It's blinking down. Ooh. Sorry, guys. Okay, is that better? I think so. Okay. Let's see. Oh, no. Give me one second, guys. Eh? Why am I? Ooh. Okay, that's. I think better. Okay, cool. All right, anyways, back to what I was doing. <laughs> All right, so I'm cleaning up, the, doing the work on the, t the tongue work today. Ooh, what the hell? Why am I so low down now? Get back up. Besides having to sit through a very annoying, um, oh, somebody listening to a very annoying video. Oh my God, I swear. You know what? Just grind this a little. Ah! Sorry, I zoomed out. Pink. 
Mishy, 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 mishy. Tongues are so weird. She doesn't look like an octagon. Um, maybe I have to put her in it. Um, so for my understanding, the reason she is from a series, the series is called Octagon Princess is because it has eight, uh, like fighters, like female fighters go against each other. Is that the... Probably should be more like that, right? And yeah, I'm messing up the tongue. Oh, that's horrible. I'll stab him. I'm okay with this. What the hell? Ew, that sounds disgusting. <sighs> I don't know, people are so weird. They get all like culty over the dumbest stuff. Murka. We don't really talk politics at my work, at least. Uh, although me and my boss are pretty much on the same page. I think it's kind of a nerd thing. I know uh, back when I worked at the newspaper, the politics came up a lot because specifically uh, our most of our uh, advertisers and stuff were Democrats. So we, we saw a lot of that kind of stuff coming in and it was, it was a weird thing, but one of the uh one of the um my, my co-worker was the one who was like because yeah I, I worked at a place with three the print shop i worked at print shop slash paper slash everything else it did there were three of us uh, the owner who did like nothing besides pretend to do the uh, um uh what do you call it the financial stuff the accounting there we go and then uh, make you know bad business decisions then there was uh me who was the designer and then there was uh, my coworker Jim, who kind of just did everything else and mostly managed like uh, like things like you know we did engraving. So he was pretty much in charge of the engraving, but he also helped out with like actually cutting the vinyl for the t-shirts because we did t-shirts too. Yeah, oh seriously, we did like everything there. It was so dumb because I never got paid enough for it. That's kind of what you know. We all knew I was gonna quit, gonna leave at some point, but pandemic made it uh, sooner than later, which actually has been a good thing. So I, I'm a lot less stressed not working there. So, but yeah, Ugh. I I think it's just when you're when you're in a workplace, anyways. Period. If you're watching something, uh, you gotta you you should have headphones on and just be quiet. Don't don't interrupt people. It's like one thing, like when my boss was like, "Oh man, you gotta watch this uh, comic trailer or whatever." I was reading some news at work later, but mostly I sorted books today. Oh, that really did turn out more pink than I meant it to. Mm. Oh, maybe if we take some of the saturation out. Yeah, I wanted it more like that, like a salmon color. Okay, cool. People are weird. I'm back from playing with the lip. I did this like this morning. I kept playing with it. I was like, no, stop. I've been kind of working on this on and off in between those kiosks though, because I've just got, you know, eventually when you stare at the same stuff over and over again, you just start going crazy. Ah! Okay. Oh, she only has one eye open. She has both eyes. Oh, actually I do want red. You just have the worst luck of getting like idiots to work for, though.
Did you know most people have two eyes? <laughs> and good and exciting news. Um, so, um, obviously, I've told you guys millions of times I work at a comic book shop. Well, yeah. With life, hello. Oh, yeah. My gosh, for sure. Poor kitten. Yeah, um, I, uh, I had uh, submitted a short comic uh for tomorrow girl and it got printed in the first issue so i'm excited it came out today I was like, yeah it's actually in here it's so so cool oh hey i am also eating the leftovers today but i'm using them for dinner <laughs> i'm glad you liked it though yay mm, kalua pork it's so yummy it's actually not too hard to make either it's mostly just an issue of time mm. Yeah, she's gonna have multiple outfits, don't mind me. Um, I guess I'll put this over here. Do I? Yeah, I don't think the outfits matter. So maybe if I just put it over the line. No, get out of there. There we go. I can't like, uh, because we don't have a, ref we have a refrigerator at my work, but we don't have a microwave. I don't, I usually just take salads to work for lunch because I can't like eat anything. Which is fine. I unfortunately do a lot of fast food there too, just because sometimes uh, I don't have time and there is a McDonald's on the street and I pass several other fast food places on the way. I'm trying to be better, but it's hard. Why is like all the really like food that's good for you so expensive in comparison, you know? I always hated that and it just has gotten worse. <sighs> C'est la vie. Yeah, I'm going to be eating dinner in a little bit here while I'm streaming because this is how much I, I care. And you're Wong, I'm sorry. I don't have a giveaway. You can still try to enter him. He's downstairs cooking my food. Well, putting it in the microwave, so. Yeah, I had to put the, uh, the Wong is not here thing up when he's not in the room because people kept wasting their bonks and then I felt bad because I'm like, he's not here. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, is it? I don't... It's not on slow mode, is it? It shouldn't be, but then again. No, it's not, huh? There is always a delay, though, and I don't I don't really get to control that. That's, uh... What do you call it? That That is, that is Twitch. I'm sorry, guys. That's not me. Yeah, I, well, I have a... I know it's, it's showing up, like, a couple seconds on uh, OBS before it's showing up on the fries behind me. Because I have both screens open. I can see both. I have noticed that, though, because sometimes even in other people's chats, like, even in yours, Kitten, I'll respond to something you said, and then, like, my chat will show up, like, almost a minute later, and it's like, dude, we're not even on this topic anymore. Thanks. Thanks for trying. Thanks for being awesome. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that that's definitely the delay. That's that's still from Twitch though. I mean, that's that's basically OBS is running the the Twitch chat up there, obviously. It's a, I, I feel like it's easier for like when I have VODs or like archives so people can be like, oh, now I see what was going on. Huh? 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 Yeah, obviously you guys can't see the OBS chat. That's only because this is how I'm streaming it through OBS. But yeah, I mean, it's the same thing when I, uh, I don't know how much of a delay is on that though. I, I mean, like I said, I'm not the one who set this, I like, I set it up on my overlay, but I'm not like the one who created the coding and stuff for it, so. I think that looks pretty good. I'm sorry guys. I, I'm I'm not that like that that skilled. 
I only know what I know. Ooh, I just elbowed my keyboard. <laughs> you know how it is. Sometimes you're just trying to enjoy life and then you elbow a keyboard. Fine, I'll breathe it in. I wanted to be lazy. Ah, hi, RTD. It looks like you're hiding behind your pants. I can't actually, it's probably the edge of a trash can though. Sorry, they're so small. That's why I can't see them. It's not like a slight on the artist or anything. I literally just, I see like blurs of color. My eyes are terrible. I go in for an eye doctor appointment um, in June, I think. I'm paying out of pocket though, because my insurance doesn't cover it. So that's gonna be fun. Oh, let me make these a little brighter. Oh, that's a fun one. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes you gotta take pants and hide behind them, right? Are you saying you've never taken a pair of pants and hid behind it? I kind of like that little orange in it. That looks nice, I think. My God, I don't know what size I want for this. Like, that looks better, I think. Maybe, maybe a little bigger. I know you guys are like, what the hell are you doing? I'm just playing with this blur here. I need to actually blur it, I guess. Let's go ahead and do that. Select it. Just a small blur should be good. Yeah, I think that's enough. Oh, hi, Twifu. I see you are an octopus. That should be all I need for the over stuff. There's no glasses or anything involved this time. I still the character the colors off of uh, one of the uh, pages earlier. Like that's why it's all color blocked already. So. There. Looks like there's a little gap. Before anybody asks, no, I am not ready for this weekend. Because yeah, I'm vending at a I'm I'm going back and you know being an artist alley at Asin for the first time in like forever. But um, I'm not. I don't know. I just not as into it. No, I'm not ready for Friday. I'm not ready for anything. Maybe screaming. I figure uh, later I'll go and pull some of the stuff out. And then um, Wong is going to... Well, we're going to... Because we're taking Wong's car. So I'll, I'll, he's going to help me go through my... Like, go through and straighten up the Artist Alley stuff again. I'm still debating if I should get, like... Try to get, like, another bag or something to carry some of this stuff. My first thought was like one of those rolling duffel bags, but I'm like, don't we already have enough rolling things? We have two, right? So I don't know. <laughs> it's so hard. My problem is, um, 
I work on Thursday, <laughs> which is kind of why I'm like, yeah, that's why stuff didn't like. That's why I'm not going up on Thursday. And Wong also works on Thursday, so I'm, I, I need the money, so. I mean, in some ways I'm doing better financially than I have in a long time, but I still have a lot of debt to get through. So I'm trying to be very good about it. And honestly, I can I can set up. What's the wrong with Thrive? Why did you set it up? What do you mean? Oh, it should be fine though. That's okay. Thank you. Twifu, can I hold somebody hostage in your room? I am actually staying up there overnight though, because I, uh, or over the night, not Thursday night, but Friday night and stuff, because yeah, we, we're uh, staying with uh, Rana Faye. I don't know yet. I'll decide later after I kidnap somebody. Oh, uh, oh my god, where'd I go? Wong, uh, Kitten said she ate the leftovers today and was, they were very yummy. He said good. Where do I keep going? I think I'm also like, I am zooming. I don't know why. I might not have the camera set low enough. I think I might be, it might be not be aimed down like it usually is. And I move my head downward a lot when I draw. As you see, my avatar keeps doing. It is literally following my motion. Ooh, just colored on her ear. That's an ear! Wah! Did I even go 2019? <laughs> when was the last time I went to Eason? Yeah, probably, yeah, it probably would have been about 2019, I think, too. I just, I really just don't like going to cons unless I'm, I know I'm gonna be vending there, if there's a really a good guest I wanna see. Before Aeson, not during, okay? I was like, what the hell? I didn't think you got COVID during Aeson. That's what you mean, okay, that makes sense. I mean, the only plus that is, at least I have good friends there, and yeah, that that will be fun. So, I just get like, if I don't have an artist alley table, I don't even know what to do with myself anymore. Yeah, that's fine. Well, wandering's okay, but I mean, I, I even then I can't wander too long. Well, especially because I'm still, you know, sporting a leg that is healing because I existed. It was great when everyone would always see me on crutches and be like, oh no, what happened to your leg? It was like, I existed. That's what happened. I'm on person that. Yeah, exactly. Well, that, that's how it works though. Just one person is enough sometimes. COVID is not fun, guys. I hope you never have to get it. I guess the only plus that is now, at least the strains or thing. Go to large events, nothing. Lick to one doorknob. This is why I tell you not to lick doorbells. Doorbells. Do doorknobs, Twifu. I know you really like doorknobs, but you can't always lick them. Just lick the ones inside your house only. Preferably ones that nobody else touches. Fire and doorknobs. Are you gonna lick the fire after a light? Are you gonna light the doorknob on fire? Oh my god, did it? Yeah. Okay, we got weird noises and <laughs> oh, mimic errata back to back. I was like, what's going on? I saw two redeems. All right. So weird noises first. 
Alright, and now mimic Arata. Oh my god, so he's been making this sometimes like really disgusting meow. I don't know how to describe it, and I definitely can't mimic it yet, but I'll work on it, guys. You know how orange cats are, they're crazy. I kid you not. Oh, she's working out. It's very hard. I can't work out very well, so I'm zooming away, guys. Sorry, I'm taking a bite of my food. Oh no, he's screaming. I started up my actual cat. I hear him now. You guys can't because of the filters, but in the distance he screams. I like your brighter oh my god, that sounded weird. What the hell happened with that? I'll have to figure out what this sound is doing. That was really weird sounding. Spots by the eyebrows only it looks like. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I can clean up anything uh, afterwards. Always glad to see you guys putting your points to good use. <laughs> oh, I missed that one. Hydrate. Oh my god, you guys are just like, let's redeem all of our, our fries right away. I'll hydrate, I'll hydrate. Wait, did it not work? I just realized you did hydrate and... It, it should have done that. Okay, maybe something's wrong with my overlay. It's fine. Whatever. I swear, every time they do a new update, it screws something up. I mean, on everything, not just one thing. It's My phone keeps saying it wants to update, but I don't want to let it update because there's been this thing with Google phones and uh, a battery issue, so. I mean, I know they'll fix it eventually, but I'm like, right now it's still going there. And Yeah, 
I think I'll pass. See, at least I used to not, just not update things because I was lazy. Now I, I do. I actually let things update pretty fast now. Barring that I read something like that and like, uh, uh, Fry drum, okay. I was like, it's it's weird. I don't know. I'll play fry drum. Let me go ahead and do this really quick. All right, I'm gonna pause my music because um, I think this is hard to hear under over the music. All right, let's go. Let me know if you can hear it, and if you can't, if you don't hear anything, let me know too, okay? Hi, drum. You heard everything okay? <laughs> you think it's louder than the music? Oh my god, it's just me slapping my thighs and the mic, the same mic I'm talking into it, picking it up. The music is pretty quiet though. I mean, if you guys ever are like, the music is too quiet, let me know. I'm really bad at like judging that. So I have no idea if it's too quiet, if it's too loud. I can just tell where it says on the bar, but even that apparently sometimes I'm wrong. I will say though, I do purposely hit my thighs pretty hard on, so you guys can like, are more likely to hear it. So that could be part of it too. Ma. Doesn't really matter either way. Do you really? Wow. Beware. Plans you sign up for, they will change. Ooh, it's spooky. Oh my god, 18k points. Well, I mean, lurking isn't a bad thing. You know, you also get, um, what is it? The, the, the happy meals. Let me see, how do I do this? Is it this? No. <laughs> is it this? Yeah, there we go. You also on top of the fries. That, no, Wong, you do not get toes. 30 months that's wait why is my overlay so low 
Eh. Eh. Oh, maybe it's fine. I'll just check later. Long, what did you do? I don't know what you guys are talking about. Wong's not here. No, he's eating anyways. Yeah, 30 months, that's... Two and a half years? Is that right? Wow, that's so long. Long, long, man. If you guys have not seen the long, long... Uh, what, what is that gun called? Sake, sakeru? Sakeru gum? Look at the long, long man commercials for Sakeru gum. Uh, there is a whole, like, literally they filmed, um, it's a Japanese commercial, but it's like a little mini series of commercials. Like the commercials form a full set, a full story. Um, I believe somebody subtitled them, but it's not one of those, like, if they're not subtitles, it's not the end of the world. It's, it's a pretty easy to understand even with that subtitle thing. So, but it's hilarious. Oh, Isaiah Rod has returned from his screaming to grace us with his pre pre presence. Oh my god, I cannot talk. Guys, I swear English is my native language. Even I question it sometimes, but it is true. Native English can't speak English. Yeah, but they don't usually like lose the right word, I feel, unless they really don't know it. Though now I'm, I'm thinking of all those like typo memes. Have you guys seen those? Like where they're like, instead of saying cologne, they, t they type colon. Uh, I just love the smell of my man's colon. <laughs> or for chicken parmesan, they put like chicken permission. That one is really funny because I've seen that one meme with it. A chicken going, yeah, sure, go ahead. <laughs> You're getting the permission from the chicken. I actually d usually write fairly well uh, when I'm t like typing English. It's just my speaking gets a little questionable. The lack of sleep has not helped. Yeah, I always, oh my god, grammar mistakes. They hurt, and yet they make me laugh. I'm not quite a grammar Nazi, but sometimes I want to scream at people's grammar. It depends on what it is, too, what if it's for. If it's just, like, casual chatting, that's not a problem. But if they're, like, trying to be serious or whatever and be like, Oh, I'm an expert, but here is my improper grammar. Like, no, go. Get out of here. Go on, geek. daddy's food did he actually steal a piece of pork this asshole by the way this guy eat. eat it it's fine yeah it is it's fine cat's mouths are cleaner than ours no where did he eat his, his little, little beak no eat it eat it it's fine do you want to switch i'll eat it i'm trying to make wong eat a rot <laughs> Wong's trying to research and Arata's like, it's my food now. By the way, Arata's favorite meat is pork. He's never taken food off a plate before, though. I guess he just thought daddy was too caught up in work.
Hello, quotable. I finally have had a couple times where um, the new sleep med I'm on, I've actually managed to take the second dose. I don't know if I like it more because I actually feel like in some ways, uh, the second dose does keep keep me asleep longer, but the first dose, I just feel like if that's the only one I take instead of waking up to take the second one, I usually get better rest. So I, I don't know. She's screaming, who's screaming? Oh, her? Yeah, she is. She's working out. It's hard, man. Ah! I scream too. I don't actually draw a lot of characters with short hair for females, but it, it can be cute. I have nothing against it, guys. I just like to hide ears. No, just sometimes, you know, longer hair is fun because you can you can play with stuff. I don't like that. Mm, let's go back up. Let's go ahead and slightly brighten that. Um, like there? Yeah, I think that's better. So um, at work, my boss is learning how to uh, DM D&D uh, &D because he is going to be running, I think for Boy Scouts, he's running a small game tomorrow. So he's, he's been learning. He, he had a big question today and it was, it was uh, easy to understand why it would be a question the way the, the thing he's, list, he's uh, using is. It was about modifiers and I was like, I was happy I could answer it because um, I, I haven't done a lot of D&D in a long time. D&D is not my favorite. Uh, system for gaming. I think I've mentioned that a long time ago, so for all you new ones, guess what? D&D is it for me. It's not my least favorite. Um, that would be a tie probably between Legends of the Five Rings and uh, Pathfinder, actually. But a lot of it is because both times, uh, the two the times I tried both of those, um, I didn't have very good experience. And just the way it ran, I felt like it was just hard, too hard. I like uh, Exalted the best. Uh, Eclipse Phase can be fun. I want to try world, the World of Darkness stuff too. Now finding, you know, time to do everything is uh, another story. My D my group that I played with on Discord is no longer there, sadly, but things happen. Sometimes weird things. Also, that one time DMing was enough for me. I don't want to DM again. I like making up the stories and I like, but I don't know. I feel like part of it is I get like, oh, I want to be in that on the action, which obviously you can as a DM. Also, a lot of it is I feel like you're like, oh, what are you guys doing? When your party, when you give your party members like this, your players like this really obvious thing they can do, and then they're like, "No, let's go look at this rock instead." It's like, no, guys, stop, stop. I think in the case of my boss, uh, he's gonna be fortunately starting out with a lot of newbies, so they're probably gonna stick to the script a lot more. Yeah, the campaign I ran was actually with the fate system um, and I used it to just kind of like customize it. And so it was like a pretty much a full customized world and setup. 
And there were so many times though, I'm like, okay, here's the obvious go this way thing. And they're like, mm, nah. Or like I'd make it obvious like they have to do you know, what I thought was obvious without outright being obvious, like outright saying it, that this is how they would have to do something. And then like they wouldn't. And I'm like, oh my God. And then the thing with magic, I that took forever for them to get it, which was weird because they would successfully do it several times. And I'm like, please guys, just, just do it. You know what you're doing. And then in the end, the, the only player that actually remembered it later on and like brought it back up again was actually supposed to be playing the dumbest character. <laughs> they also ended up traveling with two NPCs because uh, one of them was supposed to be in and out of the game uh, because that was who they were tracking and following and helping. Uh, but the other one was only supposed to be kind of like a one-time thing uh, for somebody's backstory and then like out. But uh, one of the players got engaged to her. <laughs> she was a really fun character, though. I had always hoped to pass her on to a player to play her, but never happened. But yeah, they went to her house at one point when she was uh, she had gone missing with uh, the other NPC. And they literally were like, okay, guys, don't take these particular items. Because those are a tradition in her clan is that those would have to go to her betrothed or whatever. So taking them basically indicates that you're like, oh, we're going to get married. Well, yeah, what does he do? He takes them. But God damn it. He's like, but but I wanted them. Like, yes, but now you've got the angry bird lady after you too. Although at least the character was one of those who's just like, oh, I've accepted my fate. This is my wife. Even though she wanted to murder him half the time. They did eventually start getting along out. And it was just a, it was a weird one. Actually, the world that I used as the basis for it was kind of the prequel world to Altair. If you guys have ever read any of my works, Altair is... Mm, if you are okay with sad things, it's good. Otherwise, uh, sorry. There's, there's a lot of character deaths in it. Because it's basically like a, a war story. So, yeah. And not a happy story. I don't believe in true happy endings. I believe in bittersweet endings. Or you guys, I don't know. Um, to explain that, it's like, I don't think that you can't get to a good ending. I just think that generally um, you can't get there without some kind of sacrifice. Uh, and it doesn't necessarily mean outright killing a character or you know, things like that. It's just there are things you're going to give up. There are going to be hard times to get there. It's not just going to be everything works out in the end. You can't have it all. And so, yeah, that, that that's how I write too. So sorry guys, heads up. Oh my god, lately in uh, those kiosks, especially on webtoons uh, and in some of the webtoon groups I'm in, I've been getting comments like, don't sh you better not do anything to Calic. I'm like, mm, not saying anything. No, I just find it funny because I I've had that happen before on other stuff. I like Calic though, he's so cute. He's he's basically won the character pull, so I guess he'll be uh, the art for this year for the anniversary. Those cast will officially be 17 in July. I'm hoping to have the next Kickstarter up by then, too. But it's just going to be for the new uh, So What is it? Volume 15? Is that what we're on? I don't even know, guys. It's my story and I can't tell you. I just write and draw until I look back and I'm like, oh, man, I have so many. But yeah, because I think chapter 75 is the last one I need for it. And that's what just started this week. Although I'm taking a break from it next week because ASIN. So I've decided not to kill myself this time. How appropriate. I hear a mosquito truck. I should say specifically the mosquito sprayer. Mm, I don't know if you guys all have this where you live. Yeah, mosquitoes have trucks. You know how it is. But um, no, they they come around. Our city comes around, and we'll do like basically a giant thing of bug spray. 
For it to keep the mosquitoes to help like kill them? Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know like what the limitations of it are for like other people having it done in their areas. And I mean, obviously, I don't even know if places outside the US do that, but yeah, yeah, we, we do that. So yeah, I heard it right now. It's got like a, it, to be fair though, the truck itself does kind of sound like a mosquito. It's like a really, really buzzing. Like a, a deep buzzing. Yeah, I, I keep doing this. I'm going to keep changing colors. I'm on the skin layer again. <laughs> That is something I should look, probably look up. I've never really thought about it, but I was talking to some friends today about uh, weddings and like to get a wedding at the church, like some of the, the stuff you have to go through. And I didn't ever think about the fact that like, I knew that Catholicism, you have to do uh, like, you have to do like some kind of weird program with them to get married in their church. But um, I didn't realize like that Baptist had it too. So I'm like, I wonder what other religions do stuff like that. I don't like organized religion, guys. With that said, please feel free to, you know, practice whatever religion you want. Just do not be mean about it. God damn it, that's the burn tool. I've been using the wrong tool here. <laughs> okay. But. All I know, though, is I would never want to have a wedding at a church. It seems like a pain. I'm also not very religious. Considering I consider... I, I call myself um, agnostic, so... Basically, it means I question everything! Praise the fry elf! Yeah! That's what you should do. Just give me all your fries. That sounds like an amazing way to worship me. Oh man, hair. Hair today, gone. Tomorrow. Ooh, sorry, I had like a weird hiccup. I assume this probably transferred off. Maybe I'm wrong though. Sometimes I get like. Alright, I think that's. Her hair isn't too bad because there's not as much of it as I've had with some other characters, so that helps. Yeah, cleaned up, cleaned up. I guess I'll do the silver next. So because um, I'm doing multiple outfits on this, that's why there's a crudely drawn outfit, and then there's another crudely drawn outfit over here. Um, I'm doing like all the flat colors on the same layer and then um, okay that one is on the base layer. I gotta do that one then too. She's strunk. Oh my god I totally missed the hand? What the hell? I totally missed part of her hand. Eh? Was that not on this layer for some reason? Yeah what? What? No, I have no idea. Okay. Anyways, um, I have to go back and do that too then, I guess. But I'll go ahead and put the silver down. Yeah, guys, that's totally how you spell silver. I didn't look. Uh, I was looking away and my fingers were definitely not where they should have been on the keyboard. So that, that's my silver layer. Ignore. Ignore. That's totally how you spell silver. I have to go fix that finger, though. It bothers me. Man. Man. Oh, man. It's like sniper, you know. Sniper, no sniping. There we go. So weird. 
Nobody, me, avoids an entire finger. I knew something looked off with that hand earlier. I'm just headbutting my uh, microphone again, don't mind me. Buggy bumper baby? Is that what it was? You guys are like, what? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just coming out of nowhere. And suddenly you see him out of the corner of your eye. Shia LaBeouf. This one. Oh my god, wrong one. Ah! This one's almost gonna definitely need some cleanup on the outside. Since it's gonna probably go over. Fine though. It happens. It happens. It happens. Let's do a little highlighting. Did I like just totally miss this hand? Kind of feels like it. Okay. Get a little bit right here. And there was much rejoicing. Okay, that should be good, I think. See if I can take some of this away easy. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> wow. I spelled silver A S I L C W E. Kind of the word silver if you squint and stand on your head. Ugh. How many clicks does it take to get to the paintbrush? Uh, yes, I did just bark. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Ejon, Ejon. Bork, bork, bork. I still think one of the best, aka worst dogs, barks was, uh, uh, God, so he. So so Ichiro san from uh Mason Ikoku, uh he would bark and it sounded like boo boo boo. There's another dog recently that sounded like that, but I don't remember what. What were we watching? It had a dog in it. I mean I know repeat is voiced by a person in uh in, in Tales of Asperia, so it's just a guy making awkward dog noises. But no, it was something else. Hmm. What did what did I just finish? Uh, 
gosh, what have I been watching? Oh, maybe it was uh, Isekai Oji-san. Maybe there's a dog. That seems like the Kaipo would do that on purpose, though. Guys, if you uh, if you ha have knowledge of Isekai and uh, like satire and parody, I would definitely recommend um, Isekai Oji-san. I, I enjoyed it. I like, uh, I'm not really big into comedy typically, but I like satire. That is like my favorite uh, comedy genre. And it, they did a very good job of like kind of playing with the nitpicks of uh, isekai animes and then also even just generally touching on some like obvious tropes that get thrown into that kind of series or even just series where the main uh, male is or the main protag is a male and it just the way they handled it was really good though. It, it also is really funny that the main guy is just not very pretty or special yeah it's it's just watch it if you can. It's on Crunchyroll, actually. It, I think, uh, well, the English title, I believe, should just be uh, Uncle from Another World or whatever, Return from Another World. Yeah, because it's actually about a guy who came back from another world after he got transported to it for a while. So specifically a guy's uncle, so. Okay, cool. I made it to the hour mark. I thought you guys were getting because I got to get back to this OCS work. I'm sorry. I can't stay on art streams long anyways. But yeah, whoa, them abs and muscles. I still got a long way to go. I'm like, I'm totally missed. Oh, right. I know why I'm missing that line. <laughs> but yeah, um, her name is Rin. Um, it's from Octagon Princess by... Uh, Give me one second. Dylan. I am really bad with last names. Hey, Dylan, Dylan. Megan. So, yeah, she's also a kickboxer like Natasha. He drew Natasha for me in exchange. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, the abs. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to make her as muscular as possible because why not? She, she's a, she works out and... Uh, I, from what I've gathered from the story, it's basically like eight girls go against each other in like a battle royale thing without like murder. It's not murder, but yeah. So, um, I don't think any of it is out yet, but there should be a Kickstarter in the near future and I will be sharing it on social media and stuff too, just because, but yeah, I, I think it's, uh, I've been trying to make new friends and who also draw comics and stuff. So it's been really cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the next scene because we are gonna go find somebody to raid. So heads up, ASIN is this weekend, which means there will be no other um, streams or anything like that, even like last minute. No, it's it's just, there's too much going on. Um, but, but yeah we'll be back normal thing um for those kiosks uh it is on hiatus this week because that way i have time to get caught up on stuff i hope i sell a lot mostly i'm not probably gonna do much because i'm i'm still not super great about the uh about going to a big con with a lot of people but yeah make all the money is that i definitely want um we are gonna raid hirusaki again guys by the way he is the first person who has successfully completed my assignment um of getting hidolfer into space it's a joke thing i say to some of my gundam friends but yeah all right so we're gonna go view him playing tales of Vesteria because it's tales of day for him and i will see you guys after i get back all right ayasuminasai what was that for <laughs> 